there you are. Where have you been? Welcome to Hind Site News. I'm David Connolly, live from Hollywood. Unlike these poor bastards. We're here to discuss talking points of things that are already behind us. And frankly, thank God. We're going to cover current events. We'll have special guests. Lady Gaga, Tom Cruise, Camilla Parker Bowles. Three people who have committed to not appearing on our show. We're going to have sports. Completely pointless. We're going to have weather. Hi. I can juggle. We're going to have technological updates. Hello. And sometimes it's just an in-depth look at the news. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. America is hurting. And this so-called crisis has thrown our so-called economy into the so-called death row of international capitalism. But Americans are strong. And in our weekly segment, Times Are Tough, we're going to discover how ordinary Americans make ends meet. Times are tough for all Americans right now, but for some guys, the daily grind is extra hard. Frank Sullivan, until 2008, was a securities analyst at Goldman Sachs. Now he makes his bank by depositing sperm, sometimes up to 10 times a day. Oh, hello, Mr. Sullivan. How are you? There you go. Thank you. And I have that magazine on amputees that you ordered. Uh, I'm okay. Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, dirty feet, fat grandmas, Christy Valley Weekly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Thank you. Warm. So, Frank. What made you decide to go from banker to wanker? Well, I was laid off in 2008 and I needed work and I figured why not do something I really love? To be honest, this is the only thing I've ever really been good at aside from being a father and double entry bookkeeping. William Hardigan has been employee of the month a record six times. Seven times. You're blurring my face, right? Oh, absolutely. And you're disguising my voice? Of course. Okay. What is the most wanks you've had in a day? A uh, 25. Yeah. 25 is my record. But, you know, normal, it's, you know, 15. That, that nets me enough to pay the, you know, rent. Are you on a special diet? Uh, a lot of oysters, um, milk, a lot of dairy, a lot of uh, pasta for carbs. So keep the energy up. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. My mother supports me. She's actually my number one fan. She actually dropped me off. She's waiting in the lobby for me to finish up. Have you thought about the fact that you might already be a father? I'm only 19. But the sperm is being used to impregnate people. That's what you guys are using my sperm for? Where does the sperm go? In a cup. Just... I mean, after it's been through the lab. All oh, right. Uh, well, uh, a lot of it stays in Los Angeles for reproductive purposes. Uh, there's a lot of estrogen in the water, so there's a low sperm count. Uh, also, non-reproductive purposes, it's in windshield wiper fluid, toothpaste. Uh, it's, it's a pro-coagulant, so uh, it's actually in food, too. You'd be surprised. Just look at the nutrition label, and it's listed under Soylent White. So, yeah, Soylent White is potential future baby people. So let's look 18 years down the line. A young guy comes up to you and says, hey, I think you might be my dad. What are you going to say? Oh, my God. I'd, I'd probably say, how do you feel about Kirstie Alley? Times are tough in America. And in a world where only the strong will survive, those who are prepared to take the hands-on approach will surely be the pale intellectual. Be strong, America. And I'm sure recovery is just around the corner. Together, we can all pull it off. I know you're all thinking, <laughs> juggling doesn't have anything to do with the 
weather, that's completely random. But you're wrong. You see, juggling has to do with gravity, which has to do with the weather. Because without gravity, the rain wouldn't fall, the snow wouldn't fall, the sleet wouldn't fall. It would just like hang around in your in the sky. Like, like an ex-boyfriend named Clark who just hangs around in your apartment while you're doing the weather and eats all your chips and plays your PlayStation and leaves it on so it'll probably burn a hole in the screen. Who does that? Back to you, David! And now let's go live to Drew for sports. Drew. Yes, thank you, David. A lot has happened in the world of sports last week. And? All of it completely meaningless. How so? Well, we're constantly making decisions that affect the outcome of our daily lives, all while facing the apparent absurdity of life itself. I mean, we live and we die. None of it for any reason. Uh, Drew, how is this related to a week in sports? Uh, it's not. I apologize. In sports news, the Los Angeles Lakers have determined halfway through the season that being NBA champions simply doesn't matter anymore. An interesting decision, considering the fact that every choice we make is completely futile anyways. God, Drew! Sorry to disappoint you, David, but there is no God. Uh, do you have any footage of the Lakers game? Well, of course I do. I'm a professional. Roll it. Hey, where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Okay, it's breaking loose. Breaking loose. Breaking loose. Oh, God, it's What the hell was that? A reenactment, David. I, I didn't actually go to the game. Have you seen the price of tickets lately? Your press, your tickets are free. Yes, but Judge Matthews had determined that I am no longer allowed to be within a hundred yards of Jack Nicholson. Right. Um, anything else that is sport related? As a matter of fact, there is. A 21-year-old Afghan man broke the United States waterboarding record last week. Thank you. Drew. Well, last but not least, let's go to Rob Ott for our technology update. Hello, hello? Hello? I don't get any signal with this. Well, that's it for Hindsight News. Join us next week when today's news will be history.